Hi everyone, welcome to round 2 from Sheffield, hoping to bounce back. I was playing Black v John Carsten 158 ECF, so another tough and complex game lies ahead. He's a very solid player. Uh, we played D4, which I expected. He also plays Knight F3 as well. I played E6. I decided to go into a um, Dutch defence. Now we played knight h3, which confused me a bit because I know against the stone wall, which is d5 instead of d6, and white plays knight h3. The idea is to play knight f4 and knight d3, and moving the other knight to d2 to f3, so white has to both his knights to the weak e5 square. But against this, you can just play d6. I don't think this is good. Uh, maybe another idea, maybe though, is to play f3, knight f2, and e4. Which b7, my normal Dutch moves, castles, castles. C4, D6. Then I played Queen B3, which um, confused me a bit, but maybe he's trying to take advantage of the fact he's nice in H3, because now there's immediate threat to taking B7. Um, so I played Knight nice C6, which is not a good move. Should I just played C6? I'm going to leave um, Knight to D7. But I played Knight nice C6, I land the thematic D5. And now I can't play e5 because my knight's attacked, but I thought I could play e5. So in this position I need to maybe play, um, with a team that's obviously going to be better for white, as you've seen from the Brandon videos. This is not good. I'm able to play, I might be able to play f4 in this position. Keep the knight back to say g6 or something. And then play knight g5, looks very good for white. I played knight d4, which is a blunder and he blundered in return as well um, Queen d1 actually traps the knight there's nothing that can be done next move is just going to be e3 there's nothing that can be stopped white wins he played instead Queen d3 which is a blunder um, so um, playable is um, e5 protecting the knight and getting mathematic Dutch advancing White can play e3, knight f3 check. The point being now is um, bishop takes f3, e4, bishop back. It's probably the best move after e takes d3. Yeah, we can try and win this pawn. Maybe rook d1. Now this pawn can't be protected. But we can get some counterplay perhaps in this position. A nice e4 square potentially. Bishop takes e4 is maybe not so good because um, I have to say f takes e4. We've um, actually always won the piece. If queen e2, then we have takes. Queen takes. We've got rid of white's defensive bishop around his king, so maybe we can stack another pawn with f4 at some point and get his bishop into play. That's why Queen D1 would have won because um, after Queen D1, E5, E3, Knight F3 check, you take it because the Queen's not on D3. And White wins. But the move after Queen D3 I chose was um, to resign on move 9. Yep, I resigned. So I had a nice 9 move loss, um, so I got plenty of rest before the next game at least. Another typical opening disaster, typical of the Dutch. And um, I'm not playing that game for a long time, that's for sure. This was uh, very bad, that. It's just plus not a point three. It's a very small advantage to white this position, but I didn't see the knight three check tactics. I resigned instead, which is very poor. Finished by 10 o'clock, so I got to watch the games at least and have some rest. But this is just very good. Uh, this is very, very bad. Uh, not good at all. This is turning into a disaster tournament already. I hope you enjoyed this video of my quickest ever loss and please leave any comments and thoughts. Thanks very much.